What's up, guys? Tao here. We are back for another exciting experiment with this Apple Lightning to USB 3 adapter. I did a few experiments with this adapter before. Since then, there are still a lot of questions regarding on this adapter from the user. So today, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into the unknown and just to find out exactly what is happening with this little adapter and what other things you can connect to it. And if you're curious, Come along. Right, first of all, let's just to see how much power this USB port is going to output and without any external power supply. For the test, we're going to use just a mouse, this wired mouse. It works without the uh, external power supply. I just to see, uh, you can see the cursor is moving. So. The power draw is 5.06 volt and 0.01 amp. So it drawn very, very little power. So yeah, the battery can cope without any issues. Now let's try this USB 3 stick uh, just to see what exactly is gonna draw. There we go. And so then we'll plug in. So on the iPad it says USB 3 requires too much power. So which means the battery cannot handle the power draw of this USB stick. So the battery just refused to give out any juice at all. So now here we go is 5.02 volt, 0. Point, essentially is uh, 100 milliamp. Now here I have a four port USB 3 uh, adapters without any external power supply at all. Now it's, for me, it's interesting to see what is the maximum power output from this USB port and I just try if actually can power this USB port here and new no. and it says use too much power so the power output on this from this hub um, is 5.06 volt and 0.05 amp um, yeah still too much for the battery inside and it refused to give up any power um, you know what I just go back to the mouse see how much power the mouse take uh, let's see okay the mouse draws 5.06 volt 0.01 amp so it actually only consume about 0.06 watt so yeah this is about the maximum power up from this USB port on adapter. So you, as you can tell, it's extremely low. Now, let's find out how much power draw this HDD is gonna consume. So here I have a USB 3 powered hub, or right now it's connected to power. Now bear in mind, because it's HDD, it, it will require a lot of power initially to spin the disk so that might be the big issue why it did not work plug into that and also it did not work when you use the extra lightning charging port it also didn't work and we're gonna try it in a second and we're gonna find out why so right now is plug into the tester and we're gonna plug into this USB port and let's see Okay, wow. It stay at 5.10 volt and a zero point, right now it's 0.17. So at the beginning, it actually reached 0.59 amp, which is almost 600 milliamp. That's a lot of ampage. Now, one of the benefits with the powered USB hub is you see the voltage maintained at 5.10. So it's very, very stable. That is the major benefit of a powered hub. All right, next, let's try to power this adapter and let's to see uh, what is the power output from the USB after we charge this. Now, I'm, for now, I'm gonna use this uh, Juice uh, power brick. It provide five volt and 2.4 amp output. So that is plenty to charge the iPad. Okay. Right, it says 5.13 voltage and 0.12 amp, which is 120 milliamp. Right, now we connect this HDD to it. 
uh, mechanical drive. Now, bear in mind, it requires almost 600 milliamp just to spin up the disc. And let's just to see what's going to happen. And now, simply, it just not cannot provide enough current through the port. It just will not spin at all. Um, the is still current goes through, it's just not sufficient enough to spin the disc. It just keep constantly beeping. So, as you can see, there's nothing showing up. Right, now we know it cannot power up the mechanical drive. And I hear you ask, will it power up the external SSD? Okay, very, very good question. Now here I have a Samsung 850 Pro. Now this actually is internal SSD. I just had a enclosure for it. And now this rated SSD is, okay, will operate at around about five volt and about 1.4 amp. So now this is the specification. Now let's just to see. Okay. And, oh, hello. Oh, wow. Right, it actually powers up the SSD. Okay, so it actually consume more while just connected. Let, let me just try again. Okay, so it jumped up to 0.43 amp at 4.95 volt. So we actually, it, it works. Now, because SSD requires 0.43 amp, so that's quite a lot amp, and therefore the voltage is gonna stay a bit lower. Now hopefully it's gonna stay like this, and now it, the voltage jump up to 5.09, it's a bit more stable, and ampage drop, because that sounds standby. Now if you do use the SSD, the voltage may drop just to compensate the current because the SSD is gonna transfer data and you're gonna use the SSD. But it looks pretty stable. Now this is very, very good news. External SSD, it works. I also hear you ask, if I use higher power output brick, will it make any difference? Well, let's find out. Here I have a 30 watt MacBook Air charger. Now it support five volt, three amp output. So now let's see if this make any difference. Here we go, if we plug in. And again, it simply just cannot power up the mechanical drive at all. Now the main reason I believe if this USB to power up the mechanical drive because it used up to 6 milliamp at the beginning so the voltage it may drop down to below 4 volt 3 point something volt so that is way too low for the battery in the iPad to cope therefore the iPad is just refused to draw out any more power from the battery so hence it cannot power this HDD right now we all know the powered USB hub works straight away but how much power exactly this is gonna provide and how much exactly the USB port is gonna output to any external devices connect to this. Now, let's find out. Right, uh, here I'm gonna connect to this tester and here's the USB to this powered USB hub and it provides 5.10 volt, which is normal and very stable. Now, if I plug this HDD in, Let's just to see and how much power is it going to consume. Here we go. And it spins and it recognizes right there. However, the ampage is actually zero. So which means this powered USB hub provides all the necessary current to anything plug into it. So literally, it does not use much current go through the USB part, USB port on the adapter at all. As you can see, even without extra power supply to this USB adapter and anything plug into the USB hub, it will work. Right, until now, you probably would think not everybody willing to take one of those power 
USB hub with them and plug into the watch wall plug uh, while you're traveling. Uh, it's just too much hassle. Here, I have a Anker USB type C hub here, two USB three Ethernet, and a HDMI. Now the HDMI will not work through this adapter, not simply because this USB does not carry uh, carry visual out. You need to use a Lightning to HDMI adapter. I understand this is Type C here. Now I have a USB three uh, to a USB Type C converter here. So we just plug it in there, and voila, that become a Type A hub. Now let's just to try if this thing works. I plug this juice power brick into this power delivery port here. First, let's plug a USB stick in, and let's just to see. Now keep eye on the tablet. Here we go. Now recognize this USB stick. Now there's no extra power into this lightning adapter so the ipad is not charging so all the juice is from the power bank to this adapter here so there's enough current for the external devices here now let's plug into this external ssd and just to see if it works and yeah the light is solid and it's gonna show up yes it recognize it so it's right there now let's try this mechanical drive i'm gonna unplug this usb 3 now plug into this now the light's on it's spinning and keep oh here we go it showed up Right, at this point, you may want to say, I can't charge my iPad at the same time to use this hub. So if I'm traveling, I want to make sure the iPad has enough juice for it. So I want to charge my iPad and use this at the same time. Right, the solution is, here I have a Anker power bank here. It has two USB output. So the total of 4.8 amp at five volt. Now, because it has two, so, you can charge or not charge, provide power for this USB hub here and at the same time, at the same time, charge your iPad. Voila! So the whole solution here is for you to take with you when traveling. You do not need any power brake at all. So, what have we learned from today's experience? First, external SSD works by providing you have uh, as external power to power this a Lightning to USB 3 adapter. Now, it's very, very good. Now, if you don't want to carry HDD, if you don't want to carry anything else, and SSD, external SSD will work. However, make sure you double check the, the power rating. Now, the second, if you don't want to carry the power brick for the powder USB hub and at the same time you want to plug multiple USB into the hub to use with your iPhone and iPad. So my personal recommendation, get one of those power bank or with a minimum two USB output. So I suggest a minimum about 4.8 amp. So this is what I have right now. So that's the ampage output. So you can power your iPad and also power a external USB hub. If you can find a USB 3, a multiple hub, it has a power input on the USB hub you are getting. And the most important thing, the extra power for the adapter you are going to get, make sure it rated at 5 volt. So if you have one of those like 12 volt, for example, this is 12 volt, simply a power brick cannot power this hub at all. So make sure it is powered by a 5 volt power bank. And lastly, now the higher power output break or higher power ampage, it will not affect performance of this adapter. So as we just tested, even though 
I use these 30 watt chargers, so 5 volt, 3 amp, and to power these, the external HDD is still not spin. It's simply HDD draw too much power out of the battery in the iPad. Now, other question from users that can I plug a USB Bluetooth a headphone or microphone or wired Bluetooth a USB um, to the USB hub there? Uh, will it work? Now, for example, here I have a USB uh, to microphone input and headphone output. Now, this will work as long as the USB device you plug into does not require software installation, does not require configuration, it will work. All right, this is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed it, please click on the like and share with others and maybe consider subscribe for future video update like this. So there will be more experiments coming for the future videos. So see you guys in the next video.